Welcome to No Touch Throw. In this video, we're going to show you the easiest way we found to farm Blood Moon Essence and unlock the Summoner Archetype. If you find this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and uh, hitting the notification bell. It, we really do appreciate it and it really helps us. So what you are going to need to perform this method is you will need to be in campaign mode. You will need to have Yesha unlocked and another world unlocked that is not Ward 13. To get the, the Blood Moon to spawn, first you will check on Yesha and go to the outdoor areas where you are not inside or underground to see if the Blood Moon is active. If it is not, then you need to fast travel to another world that is not Ward 13, load into that world, and then just fast travel back to Yesha to check out the fast travel locations in those open areas to see if your world has spawned the Blood Moon. Since most of the outdoor areas in Yesha are wooded, you may not actually be able to see the Blood Moon itself. So what you are looking for is a sky that looks like this. Now once you have found the Blood Moon, you need to find the wooden house type structures um, on the map, and that is where the Root Wisps actually spawn. Now the Root Wisps are a glowing purple will of, will of the wisp looking kind of enemy so you're just going to shoot them they give you the blood moon essence and then um, you will find anywhere from three to six of those in that area and once you are done killing all of those you will want to find a yellow fog door so in order to get those wisps to respawn you just walk through the fog door turn around and walk back through then when you go back to those wooden buildings the wisp that you killed will be respawned and you they, then you will continuously do that and farm them you once the blood moon starts I believe you have 20 minutes I do not know for sure that it's exactly 20 minutes but it's around 20 minutes the blood moon event lasts so once that blood moon is gone and you've run out of time all you do is start over at the beginning start jumping between worlds until you find a blood moon on yesha again and you just repeat the process until you have enough blood moon essence to buy whatever you want to buy from the blood moon shrine in order to craft all the unique items at the Blood Moon Altar, you will need to collect 65 Blood Moon Essence and 6,450 Scrap. Thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.